This is SAT test one, non-calculator question number 19. College Board is asking us about trigonometry. In this case, in a right triangle, one angle measures x degrees, where sine of x is 4 fifths. They're asking what's the cosine of 90 minus x degrees. So let's draw a triangle with a right angle. I'm going to call this x degrees. And the sine of an angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The side opposite x over the hypotenuse is 4 over 5, so I'm going to label those sides 4 and 5. I could recognize this as a 3, 4, 5 tri triangle and label this side 3. We'll see if that matters. Since the angles of a triangle add up to 180, the angles other than the right angle add up to 90, so this angle at the top has to be 90 minus x in degrees. And they're asking for the cosine of that angle. The cosine of an angle theta is the adjacent side, the leg that's not a hypotenuse, but is touching the angle, divided by the hypotenuse, where the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle, or the longest side of a right triangle. In this case, the cosine of 90 minus x degrees is the adjacent side, the side adjacent to that is 4, over the hypotenuse, which is 5, and that's what they're asking for. In general, the word cosine comes from cosine, where co is short for complement. So cosine literally means the complement sine, and cosine theta is the complement sine of theta, or the sine of the complement of theta, where the complement is 90 minus your angle theta. However, all you need to remember is sine is opposite over, over hypotenuse, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and that will enable you to answer these questions when College Board asks you about trigonometry on the SAT. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.